Okay, so we're going to do two, but I think we'll, we're going to play a game saying who wore it best. Uh, Red Edition. Who wore it best? Because there's been a couple albums for Record Store Day where... Oh shit, hold on. I have to... Hold on. All right. Okay. Um, we're going to see... Who, who wore it best in red? Because both of these albums came in red. And, you know, uh, leave a comment. You know, before you do, leave a comment below. Who do you think wore red best? And then afterwards, leave a comment. Who do you think wore red the best? Wow, what a horrible bunch of questions. Don't even answer me. Just sit there and watch and smoke on your chiefums pipe. All right, let's start off with, you know, if if Taylor Swift was an ambassador, it should definitely have been Rick Astley. Definitely should have been. <laughs> Thumbs up for Rick Astley. You got to. All right, um, hype sticker, smash it. We all know it. It's the national anthem for trolling, and it's going to be on red vinyl, Uh I can't remember what they said. It was like it said red, but I remember saying like candy red or red apple red or whatever the fucking red is. I don't know. God, that's such a last sheet. Got it for twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, we'll do the um, we'll do the discogs in a second because I brought up discogs and got to the point to where oh oh shit. I think I was cutting cutting the vinyl. Shit, that's not good. Alright. I was cutting... I'm oh, sorry. I got it laying up on Discogs, but I didn't, really didn't see it. Or what everything was going for, if it was going for anything. Alright, let me... Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Smells like... Smells like mall. Okay, um, hype sticker. I always try to keep in mind where the, the hype sticker, though, because ever since I started unsleeving the plastic, which I know people love to leave it on there, but, you know, I like to take it off. I try to remember where the hype sticker goes, so I know if I want to put it back, I know it's got to hover above the whatever and make sure the corner matches the slightly tilted into that little collar thing. All right, cool. Let's do it. Very smooth, with a, with a lot of with a lot of fucking static cling. Here we go. All right, here we go. Feels great. It's not glossy, but it's smooth. Very very eighties, as it should be. Twenty twenty two repress, eighth floor. Where's the previous year? What's, what's the previous, what's the fucking previous year? Someone, for the love of God, I don't want to waste time trying to figure out what year this fucking came out. Like, 89? Where is it? It should be in this fucking thing, but it's not. Uh, I'm good. I'm done. It's whatever. Okay. Here's the back. I'm sorry. I was looking for it. Good stuff. <laughs> this logo reminds me of the, <laughs> the logo's... Of everything I worn up, I wore in the nineties. Okay, there we go. There we go. Inside, nothing in there. Toss aside. Sleeve with lyrics. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Listen, I'm excited about getting the album. Don't get me wrong. I just, I feel like I should like, what? That's weird. They have side two on this. I didn't like side one on this. Whatever. I don't care. And there we go. Was... Jesus. Oh, man. It's got that static cling thing. It's got the static cling. It's not so bad. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. 
not the record label I was expecting. Is that what was on the original? BMG? What? That's a, I know it seems like an orange red, but it actually it is just a traditional red, just like in like Rage Against the Machine red, when they came out with their do LP live in like Mexico kind of thing. It's a tr traditional red. Hold on a second. Because I know where it's at. I didn't because I do things on the fly whenever whenever I'm ready to do something like I just do it I don't try and plan much ahead it just maybe so have a little bit of data back up to share with you but here's the copy I had with the hype sticker on it so I thank the person for having it. and I got it for like 50 cents so like you could definitely see a difference oh I totally forgot this was a promotional copy so booyah 50 cents promotional copy and it was 1987. 1987. That's cool. So there's that. Uh, that's, oh, shit. And the original sleeve was just black and white. Well, I don't know what pressing this was. And this was the black. And this was the RCA. And BMG. Jesus Christ. Not prepared. But uh, at least here's a side-by-side -side of... How they pressed it. That's cool. Okay. There's something fun for you. Seeing as BMG likes to hype it up just a little. Or then again, being a fucking record store day. That's cool. Slide that in there. I mean, like... I kind of wish I had that kind of hype sticker besides that. And here's the difference between the two. This one's got more color in it. This is a little darker. Oh, sorry. So this is obviously going to be a little darker. But this is a promotional copy. So that makes me wonder if this was the first pressing on it. If it's got a promotional copy, it's got to be first pressing. That would be a really cool steal. But then what the fuck is all the... Okay, so this stuff is the same. But what the fuck's all the additional shit? Um, Rick Astley achieved what most people dream of doing. Yeah, I bet they do. Star Wars. Star Wars. That's cool. A little bio right there. You should probably look it up. I'm going to leave it out. We're at eight minute mark. And I'm procrastinating. Cool. Eh. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to do one video each. Okay? If you watch both my videos... God, I'm so indecisive. What do I want to do? Yes. Thank you. And... Jesus Christ. Dead. No. No. Okay, Rick Ashley. So the, this is the red vinyl one. Uh, average price. This I always do lowest. Damn, 60, 40, 45. But this is like from like Europe and shit. So $50 in total. It was 25, so they doubled it. So that's average. So you double, we get like 50 for it. Next. Next. Do my next thing. Thank you. All right. 3761. Where's where's America? Where's Americana? Where's the Americana here? 50, 50, 50, 50. Okay, so wow, double it with shipping. 64. 61. 60. And I'm reading the the I'm reading the prices with shipping on here. 84, 80, 95, 104. Well, no one's ever going to pay for that. They'd rather just go find a 50 cent feeder bin for it. And then, hold on a second, pause. Okay, here we go. So here's the Rick S. So whenever you need someone, first LP, RCA Victor 2. 
right? Was this Victor? PWL. No, this is BMG. But this was RCA Victor. On the fucking label. Yeah. RCA. RCA Victor. Okay. This is the PL71529. No, this is a different number. Fuck, now I'm invested. Okay, found it. So, it's still 1987, but it's... It's this one. I'm sorry, I don't mean to... Listen, listen. I'm not sorry, but this is who I am, okay? Just so you know, this is how I handle things. I'm sporadic. I want to do something. Obviously, the game has changed. Okay, it's like, I'm going to make this video dedicated to Rick Astley, okay? It's going to be him, all right? We're going to do the record next, after this one. And then you can tell me in the comments below, vote vote in the video who you think wore red best. How about that? All right, we'll set it that way. Good, okay, good. Don't forget about the Taylor Swift shit that I'm giving away. You know, all you got to do is comment on that video, and whenever I hit a 1,000 fucking subscribers, the winner, random selected in the comments, will get the damn album. But now it's all about Rick Astley. Shameless self promotion. It's freaking uh, six eight two two one R. That's what I'm looking for, and it's right there. Six six eight two one R. So let's click on that one. That is not it. That is a horrible copy. Country Jamaica? A Jamaican version? What? What? No fucking way. I don't fucking believe it. $18 altogether? $19 altogether? I mean, yeah. That's cool. That's what it is. RCA, Victor. Jamaican version? This is this is a Jamaican... This is, okay, I can kind of believe it. How is a promo copy... For Jamaica, okay. I need to double check to see if there's any more. If there's if there's any more. Hold on a second. Jesus Christ, this is gonna fucking kill me. It's gonna kill me. Like, okay. So there's it's 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 six eight two two one R. All right, we got one that's supposed to be in Jamaica, but I don't think it's fucking Jamaica because that's that's the thing. It's got a white label. I don't have a white label. I don't, so it can't be that. But then, Jesus fucking Christ! Come on, people, come on, work with me here. Then I saw this one, and what the? A hoppage? A hoppage? A hoppage pressing? What the hell's a hoppage? Is it a country? Is it a country? Oh, well, I feel stupid. It's a hoppage, hoppage. Who's up was New York? It's a place in New York. Okay. Okay, cool. That's something. That's something. And then, what? Pictures? Okay, cool. So now it's the back, but I don't see the gold promo little thingy, but the labels, it all fucking matches up. Right? There's the black and white. There's all that. Okay, so it might be a New York fucking pressing. Just Jesus fuck. God, us. Josh, there's another one. There's another one. It's this one. RCA Victor. Canadia. Canadia. Okay. Just how do you even? How do you even tell? Distributed music. Okay, Music Canada Incorporated. Okay, so what does that say? What is what is okay? So what does the record say down in there? What does that say? Let's say. Oh my God, it's not Canadian. It's not Canadian. Made in USA. Okay. It's not Canadian because it goes around the border. Hat <laughs> border. Made in USA in USA. Jesus Christ. Okay. There was only one extra, and that was like in the UK. And it's seriously, this is what. This, this, if you don't know what's going on here, it's like, this is what, if you need to identify which one it is, like, there's a lot of details in the label, like, 
how many lines underneath the track listings they are dedicated to this. Like, well, I found one with an extra line dedicated to the UK. So as it seems that the minutes late were first. Uh, so that first one was Jamaica. It's definitely not that. Then you got the how do how you got that one. And that's the only one that really makes the most fucking sense because like you got one, two, three, you got four lines there. And everything else was like Canadian with a ring around the border and all that jazz. And the one in the UK has five lines and this one's got, move it. You got one, two, three, four. So yes, this is the test pressing from whatever fucking New York it is. What is it? What is the New York? Hobbage? Hopodge? Dear God. <sighs> That's my life. That's, that's that's my fucking life right there. Well, at least I know. At least I know. It's a test pressing from New York. Good shit. But that makes me wonder. Was he Canadian? I don't even care anymore. I, I don't even care. Good enough. All right. Uh, next video. What did you think of the red? Uh huh. What you know what the red looks like. There. Next oh yeah, I'm advanced fucking trance. Instagram A D V A N C E D T R N C E. Next video. Let's move the fuck on.